Hey there folks, this is David on David's Brain. Welcome back to our ongoing Let's Play of Soul Hackers 2 for the PS4 on PS5. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe, comment, ring the bell, get treated by Patreon, links in the description of the bomb, stay inside, stay safe, or our mask get vaccinated. Alright, last time we finally managed to clear out the central line, and yeah, Arrow had to go take down Kaburagi. Didn't seem like such a bad dude, though. Shame. Welcome. And yeah, no, uh, they both mentioned something about sharing the same dream that led them to Yadagarasu and Phantom. And now, hope, maybe we'll figure out what that is if we, if we get inside Arrow's Soul Matrix. But that's for later. In any case, Melody. Oh yeah, talk about that uh, Makami. I can't believe that Makami was acting all week just, uh, just, uh, was just acting all week to manipulate us. I totally fell for it. Oh, please. That kind of thing happens all the time. Stop waiting over something so trivial. It's getting on my nerves. Hmm. Man, nothing phases you. I don't think you would have handled it, uh, don't you think you would have handled it better than I did? True. True enough. I certainly wouldn't have believed him that easily. That's true. Yeah, I figured. You probably deal with situations like that all the time. Hard to imagine anyone ever tricking you. Well, except for, you know, Iron Mask, but that's a whole other story. Idiot. You give me too much credit. Everyone makes mistakes. What? Really? I'd love to hear a, Russ, hear a story about one of your screw-ups. No. Why should I go out of my way to describe my failures to you? Please. Come on, please. Just one story. I'll buy you a drink. <sighs> Fine. It's not a secret or anything, uh, so if you're that intent on hearing it... Something like this happened. Let's see, this was all when I was still fairly new to summoning, so I must have been around 16. I'd already handled a couple of assassinations, but this time my mark was a deserter, a summoner who had run away from the Phantom Society. Uh, and you doing assassination missions at 16? Let me be clear. That's hardly unusual. Some kids in this world, uh, uh some kids in this gu uh, that's hardly unusual. Some kids in this world would have guns put in their hands before they're even 10. Yeah, not wrong there. Plus, the deserter was barely, barely a threat. He joined around the same time I did. His skills were far below mine anyway. After that, why did he run in the first place? The Phantom Society. Don't know. Don't care. The Phantom Society pun punishes traitors. No exceptions. That's all I needed to know. At any rate, I had him cornered soon enough. He was right in front of me, staring down the barrel of my gun, and he said, uh, "Please, I've got a family." And for that one split second, I hesitated. Next thing I knew. I had a bull on my shoulder. I'm curious. He tried to get you. Uh, he tried to get you with your guard down. No. Nah. Turns out he had an accomplice in this betrayal. He was waiting in the shadows, buying his time until he could take the shot. And that's all there is. Uh, that's all there is to that story. Uh. Wait. What? It was just getting good. You can't just cut it off there. <sighs> Iron Mask had been on standby. He came to my rescue and took out both the deserter and their accomplice. Thanks to how fast they treated my bullet wound, it barely left a scar at all. I get it. Oh, the masked gentleman swimming out of the starry sky to rescue the damsel in distress. <laughs> I can see how you two got together after you grew up. Do you think I'm a fool? You can cut the commentary. This is exactly why I didn't want to tell you. It's in the past. Anyway, that's the story of my failure. I completed a few missions already, and those successes made me arrogant, complacent, weak. I'll never, ever make that mistake again. Uh, then again, how'd you get laid out by R.S.? Hmm... I don't know if that was weakness, Melody. If you ask me, it sounded more like sympathy. I can't say. Call it what you want. Doesn't change the fact that it almost got me killed, right? Eh... Uh, well, I mean, hey, if you look at it, it's solid facts, then yeah. But then again, he said something that got, uh, that clicked with you, so... Hmm... All right, before we head on back to the safe house. Oh, right, yeah. Before we head to Comsmith, I uh, I fused away a demon or two and got myself a, uh, got myself bugs. <laughs> yep, here we are, bugs. A type of goblin from Welsh folklore that eats children to what listen to their parents. They're said to look like humans covered head to head to toe with hair and are recognized as an iconic monster that appears at bedtime. They're often spoken of by mothers uh, wishing to discipline their children, as noted in the popular phrase, For naughty kids who disobey, the bugs will come and surely, uh, surely prey. 
Charming! And yeah, this little demon actually made his debut in the first, uh, debut in, the, uh, debut in Soul Hack, uh, well, yeah, Soul Hackers 1, yeah. Alright, anyways. How's your comp today? Let's see what we got to work with here. I'm uh, going to need to hunt down a Zen later. Will this be all? Thanks. 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 Let's see. Need to go. Oh uh, yeah, maybe I'll find another Zen once I'm inside. Uh, once I'm inside a Soul Matrix. Let's see here. Yeah, need to find another Fen Huang. Oh yeah, and a pirated ship. Okay, find two Zen Zen. Need anything else? Come again. Oh, right. One more thing. Welcome. You wanna sell the thanks? Need anything? I better see you back here. <sighs> Yeah, I just need to give myself one more level that I can start uh, start uh, making some space. All right, all right, back to the safe house to uh, rest up. Good work, everyone. Even if we didn't find Mangetsu himself. I think that was a fruitful expedition. A little creepy seeing the arrow shrine, though. Oh, yeah, no Dad, doubt. How about some dinner? You guys have barely eaten since you died, right? Uh, what are you talking about? Some food. Holy hell, lady. Did you order the sumo special? <laughs> I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm starving here. How many people could this feed? Um... I don't know. I just thought it'd be cool to dramatically reveal a load of pizza. <laughs> we are the hosts here. We couldn't simply have the table looking empty. I don't care much for oily foods. You're an adult, and you'll deal with it. Okay, everyone, let's dig in. Wait, where's Arrow? Did he walk off somewhere? Uh. I'm gonna go check on him. Maybe he'll be break. Fine. Yeah. He's not some lost kid. Don't you think the guy's got a lot on his mind right now? Yeah, just leave oh, him be for now. I'm gonna go look for him. I'm the leader, so I'm taking responsibility here. Oh boy. Who made you the leader? Well, better you than me. Oh, and hey, don't eat all the pizza without me. <sighs> be careful, Ringo. Yeah, no, if anything, I think just maybe give Arrow a little bit of space for now. Especially since, you know, kind of uh, wind up killing us. Good to see you. Ah, hey, Hughes. Hughes. Can I get two of the usual? Where's Kaburagi? You not around today? No. Not today. Uh. Mm. Yeah, one for him. One for his homie.
Cheers. I know I won, but don't worry about it. It's on me today. Oh, really? You sure you don't mind? Well, bombs up then. Hey. Thanks. Down the hatch. Damn. Uh. Hmm. What's up? Oh, uh, it's nothing. <laughs> Damn, she's just knocking it back like water. <laughs> Ugh, gross. Can't see a beer. Or just alcohol in general. Ugh. No for Davey. <sighs> Thanks, Ringo. Thanks. What'd I do? And what's so funny? If not for you, I probably would have sat here and wallowed in self-pity. Oh. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> Thanks for the drink, Hughes. Money's on the counter. Here to pick you up. Don't leave me. Welcome. What'll it be to have a nice night? All right. Well, looks like Arrow's over it. Well, I guess. All right. Well, anyways, I better head back and see if there's any more of that pizza. And yeah, somehow I just, I think despite Melody's pr uh, protests, she probably inhaled like two or three boxes. All right, let's recap what we know. All right. Go ahead, Ringo. We all went to the abandoned subway line in the Central District. Our mission was to find the last Covenant's bearer, Mangetsu Kuzunoha. But when we got to his hideout, all we found was his journal and a bunch of stalkery pictures of Arrow. And for the record, Arrow, this was totally news to you? No idea what his deal was. Hmm. Right. It sounds like this journal might be the last lead we have. But it's been written in code with the Yatagarasu cipher, so even if it says exactly where Mangetsu is, we can't read it. Arrow, you mentioned you know someone who could decipher his writings. Yeah, I've already gotten in touch with him. He's like an older brother to me. Old childhood friend, huh? Another one? More like my teacher. In fact, I think he's an actual teacher now over at this place called Komodori Orphanage. Uh. Oh, wait, now? Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, wait. So he's a civilian. Uh, so yeah, he's with Yanagarasu, and yet he's working at, a, a working at an orphanage. Huh. Yeah, if we head on over there, we could be uh, uh, learning the Phantom Society. Uh, we could be bringing the Phantom Society straight on over, over to his doorstep. You sure this is a good idea? Bringing this kind of underworld politic into an orphanage? Don't worry. He's. Well, a while back, he used to be an agent for Yadagarasu himself. So he's retired. Why'd he back out? Hmm. He had his reasons. Which so were. He's just a coward. He's no coward. He's an elite devil summoner. An elite who dropped out of the fight? I'd laugh if he didn't sound so pitiful. Oh, boy. Once a demon-slinging agent, now an orphanage worker. Makes me wonder what kind of person he is. Don't go making his life harder, Ringo. It'll be fine. Just bring over a box of treats or something. Butter him up a little. You can handle that, right, Fig? <sighs> I suppose I'll have to. Thanks. So, when can we head over? You think we can do this now? He said we're welcome anytime, so... Yeah, welcome at any time, eh? 
on the Komodori Orphanage. And yeah, finally expanded the Soul Matrix and a new Hangout event. Let's see, increases HP healing effects for allies in battle. Alright, let's knock that back. What have you done? It was a mistake leaving you in charge of our food. Nice execution. <laughs> Look at that! They shaped the little Naruto into a heart! <laughs> now that's cute as hell! Hmm. I wonder if this is what they call the taste of love. Huh. That's a little melodramatic. I think it just tastes like ramen. So basically. To taste an emotion. That seems more a matter of sophistia than culinary technique. Need a palate cleanser. I wasn't sure I could make it through all that. All right, yeah, maybe some, maybe more more delicate matters. Maybe not going uh, speak in favor of ability. Eh, just saying. All right, well, if they've expanded the Soul Matrix, let's head on in there. Welcome. Let's see, Chevalier Ring, a safety goggles, psychedelic tights, uh, khaki headphones and rivet belt. Well, on the one hand, they are better equipment, but on the other, on the other hand, uh, kind of pricey. Yeah, I definitely gonna hold off on the uh, expansion. Hold off on this for a little here. bit. Oh, bye. Alright, so yeah, after every uh, after every completed dungeon, looks like everybody has something new to say. You heard? So you know the green apple cider is a Hedron original recipe? You can even order it to go. Getting to drink something this good for the comfort of your own home is unbelievable. He was just such a great guy. Get this. There are a bunch of abandoned subway lines running between, um, beneath Tokyo. Officially, they don't exist, but they're down there. They say they're a magnet for all sorts of dangerous people. <laughs> Come on, Hiro, you really came with just playing around forever? Hmm. Me? Well, I'm a career, you know? Playing's kind of my job. Oh, dear. Oh, boy. Welcome. What'll it be today? Have a nice night. Welcome. Alright, well, let's go in here. Size of out, then arrow ability. Oh, boy. You know, these strings somehow taste better after a long day of helping people out. <laughs> <laughs> Spoken like a real summoner, Ringo. Gives me the warm fuzzy seeing how far you come. It <laughs> makes me proud to be your teacher. I don't recall you ever teaching me any summoner tricks. Just take it easy. Well, that's just how it's done in this field. Teachers gotta be subtle. I'll give you the fundamentals and let you figure out the rest. <sighs> Is that what went for you, Saizo? You got your summoner lessons from some veteran? That brings back memories. Well, he was a mentor, but I don't know if I call him a veteran. He just taught me all the important stuff that goes into this work. Sounds interesting. Summoning mentor, huh? Sounds like there's a story there. What kind of person was he? He's a strange one. If I had to describe him one word, it'd be weird. Most summoners aren't normal, sure, but this guy was on a whole other level of weirdness. I just joined up with him. Didn't know a thing about summoning, and he suddenly takes me to this mystic mountain, just flooded with spiritual power. He dumps me into this horde of demons and tells me I gotta survive on my own for three days. That was my first train. That was my first train, for God's sake! <laughs> wow. Okay, this guy sounds nuts. I get it. He must have been strict. Sounds intense. Nope. You think that's intense? Once that mess was over, he trained me one on one in some temple in the mountains. He shaved my hair, dressed me up like a monk. I wasn't even allowed to complain. But trust me, I look like a total clown. 
<laughs> oh, wish I could have seen that. On top of that, sometimes he'd leave me to train alone just so he, uh, so I could go out and party with the ladies. Wouldn't he be back until morning some days? Oh, and there was a, uh, there was a time he had me meditate under a waterfall, but he passed out and never gave me the signal to stop, so I almost died. My hands are shaking. Ugh, just remembering his sends a chill down my spine. Interesting. How do I put this? He sounds like a guy who just did whatever he wanted. A truly free spirit. A little extreme, don't you think? There is such a thing as too free, if you ask me, but maybe that's why everything worked out. I guess we were kind of a good match. When it came down to it, he certainly he really was a certified top-notch summoner. He had plenty of, we had plenty of sparring matches, but I never took him down once. Hmm. Uh, so what's his bentor guy doing nowadays? Well, considering Saizo is speaking of past tense, he's got a whole lot of not being alive clogging up his schedule. I wonder what he's up to now. Oh. I'm wondering that myself. I haven't gone back to see him since I went independent. Well, he's probably still the same weird old summoner, but he's still helping people out and having fun doing it. Always live by your heart. That was what his teachings really boiled down to. He lived by his words more than anyone I'd ever known. Hmm. Live by your heart, huh? Sounds like a tough motto to follow. Right on target. I know, right? Uh, strictest teacher I could have asked for. Welcome. Well, I mean, hey, if he, um, well, hey, if he taught you, he must have, I must have known his shit. Anyways, time for arrow ability. Yeah, boy. Yeah, I know, these two are just gonna get along swimmingly, I can just tell. No one's saying anything. I thought Trink would at least listen to him up a bit, but yeesh, was I wrong. Um, uh, so, you folks like beer? I guess. He's his way to get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's, what's so funny? A shame. Oh, nothing. You're perfectly entitled to your juvenile approach to drinking. Really, it's almost endearing. Shut up! Are you being sarcastic? Not one of it. Are you being sarcastic? Not one of mince words, are you? Ah. My, I'm sorry. That wasn't my intention. <sighs> <sighs> oh, boy. Isn't there anything these two have in common? Let's see. Uh, sweet or salty? Hey. If you guys don't choose between sweet or salty food, which would you pick? Well... If I had to choose, I guess I'd say sweet. <laughs> I try to refrain from eating anything sweet. Too much sugar is not good for you, after all. <laughs> well, that explains it. No wonder you're such a stick in the bun. <laughs> no fighting. All right, all right, I get it. You two are polar opposites. Only natural. More importantly, you should have assumed something like this would happen. I've got no interest in disputing our team, or uh, disrupting our teamwork. So I'd appreciate it if you just left us alone. I'm not saying you guys have to get along. If you hate each other, you hate each other. <laughs> but after all that, I'm even more determined to find something you two have in common, even if it kills me. Pardon? Uh, seriously, you're like fire and ice. Putting you two together is like a puzzle at this point. Kind of exciting, don't you think? No. Uh, no. Let's keep at it. Well, whatever. The least you two could do is play along for a bit. Arrow, Melody. <sighs> Give me a break. Agreed. For once, I agree with you. Ah, uh, see, so you found some common ground. Oh, and a new gate. Uh, unlock the new gate for Arrow. So apparently, when I reach the thirty mark, is when I open up the gates. All right. Anyways, had our way around here, so uh, maybe, but um, maybe, uh, maybe Madame Gingo has a new job for us. Natural ointment? That could work. Will this do make some much? Is there anything else? Look at good. You know, my pay's pretty cheap too. Please come again. Hmm. No budget, no plan for the future. 
I didn't want to move the municipal tower. I don't know the employees are happy with this. What should think about the people that are roping into this? Right, I have no contacts there, so sorry, pal. This is an automated shopping system. Let's see, demon, uh, demon allies heal you more often, and materials are more frequently found during demon recon. Oh, yes. Will that be all? Thank you very much. Let's see. Let's see, insider. I have some money are more frequently found during demon recon. Will yes. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Oh. The boss got mad at me again. I swear, if life has to kick me around, oh, uh, only time I'm ever happy is when I'm here with Johannes. I just remembered. I saw in the news that a scientist named Onda died. That's scary. Let's see, chakra, a chakra flan. Allies MP recovered. Ooh, yes. You want this one? Here you go. Till next time. <sighs> Wonder if he's eating well. Hello. I received the services of a psychic introduced me by a certain someone. At the time, I was suffering from these mysterious shoulder and back pains. Turns out it was actually caused by some kind of evil spirit. Hmm. Believe it or not, I don't care either way. Believe it or not, I don't care either way. <laughs> uh, cultists, eh? What's up? Wow, you caught me. Okay, you don't have to tell me. You're a fan, Ray. Appreciate your support. Guess it's just my aura. It's hard not to notice, I'm sure. Must run the family. Sorry. But unfortunately, I'm late for a shoot. Deeply sorry, but I'm afraid this is a goodbye. And with that, I bid you adieu. What was that all about? <laughs> Let's see, Gomo Miso Ramen. What was the chance of being afflicted by any status ailment? Is that everything? Thanks. Come again. This is an automated shopping system. Now let's see, increases bonus attack damage. Okay. Goodbye. They say the city was busier at the start of the new generation. If you ask me, VR hosts are really hurting the biz are really hurting business. I mean, come on, working remotely is so 20 years ago. On the other hand... Besides, in-person intimacy is what hosts are all about. Good evening. Saw a movie about a certain famous band today. The music from the 20s is really something special. Most of the stuff nowadays is not even a bunch of noise. Frankly, I can't stand it. Eh. Right, anyways. Hey, miss, you're trying to go on miso ramen on that stall yet? That P.I. Saizo just loves the stuff. More of a shoyu guy myself. <laughs> and I would often eat together and argue about whether shoyu was better than miso. Hmm, I haven't had either. Or at least if I had, I just don't really remember, so can't comment there. Welcome. Do you have any other business with me? <laughs> I hear you're searching for Mangetsu Kuzunoha. He's an exceptionally capable devil summoner. The Kuzunoha name carries great weight within our circles. Their support could turn the tides of any conflict. Yeah, you'd know better than anyone. Alright. They can oh increase Miss Tink's equipment slots by uh, upgrading a comp smith. Yeah. And the commander skill mod's just about ready. Just listen up, and I'll give you the spiel. This will help you out. MP optimization doesn't always trigger, but when it does, your skills cost less and you know, less to use. Get out of you like busting out the flashy stuff. This grab you? Auto repair can make long battles easier. Sometimes it'll trigger to give you an automatic dose of healing, so it can take the edge off. Give me material. That's what. Uh, that's about it. Like I always say, you're gonna need some totem memory and some demon materials. Drop by whenever you got them. What'll it be this time? This will help you out. Don't forget this. You can increase the number of equipable mystiques by upgrading comps. However, this requires rare materials, so it's best to consider you already wish to upgrade your comps. Don't forget this. 
Ringo's comic upgrade to maximum number of demons that can be held. All right. Don't forget this. Need anything else? Oh yeah, stock optimization definitely need that. Let's see, MP optimization, auto repair. All right, well, not much I could do now. You're now searching the enemy screen, and since uh, any enemy, uh, you're now searching the enemy icon, uh, uh, you're now searching the enemy screen, and since an enemy encounters contained the target demon will be marked with an icon. Oh yes. I recommend everything I'm selling. Material. Seriously, try whatever you want. Make some matching. I'm done the list by experimenting. Oh, eventually I'll take all you of them. So, you know. Yo. Hey, Ricky. I heard of a material called Magnetite Mass. It's supposed to be pretty rare. Mm. Magnetite Mass will help you increase your demon stock capacity in your mystique slots. They're both essential in this line of work. Still, it's up to you what you prioritize when upgrading your comp. <laughs> R.S. Kabaragi, Milady, they were all good people. Uh, sorry, just thinking all the folks who helped me survive this long, but now they're all dead. Well, two out of three at least. I knew the risks you always do in this line of work. Still, it's a hard thing to live with. <laughs> you know, I used to be pretty good myself. <laughs> Probably wouldn't have guessed it though. Why did I leave it all behind? Because I wasn't looking to get myself killed anytime soon. So you just knew when to back out. Ugh. At this point, I just want to ditch her and do my own thing, but my contract won't allow it. Hey, hey release me! She's not listening at all. Ugh. Hey! <laughs> they added Takaja Pearl and Takunda Pearl to the lineup. Crafting your foes make good use of buffs and debuffs during battle. Those items will help you even the playing field. Possible. You taking a breather too? Same here. We all need a break every once in a while. Maybe I'll buy something nice from Yang Yang Palace for my friends. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard about you, Green. I heard you're looking for Kuzunoha, but I don't know if someone like you is capable of finding him. <laughs> Play from our organization went on the chase and they all got themselves killed. <laughs> Here's hoping you won't share the same fate. Pumpkin, hmm. where are you? Right, yeah. It even's kind of dopey there. You're always so cute. Let's see. Flame epitaph, flame glyph. All right. <laughs> You're really starting to smell like a full-fledged summoner these days, darling. No matter how hard you try to hold on to youth, it always slips away, like sand between your fingers. Such a tragedy, isn't it, darling? Come again! Are you a summoner? Please, I need your help, miss. Without that thing, I'm, I'm going to die. Huh. Mr. Qualmaiden. 
Oh, uh, tradable mystiques. Ooh. Thank you, miss. Hey, miss. I'm hungry. I have nothing to Please. eat. Could you give me a mystique? I promise to give you something in return. Miss. Give me. Let's see. I think I got a spare one around here. Huh. <laughs> Thanks, miss. I'm actually not human. I'm a demon. I was born for the Golma Den over there, but the summoner didn't take me with them. But now I'm safe thanks to you. I don't know if you knew, but demons need mystique to survive. I really should give you something in return. Uh, but what should it be? <laughs> oh, I know. So I can actually make all kinds of different mystiques. It's pretty tiring, so I can't make a whole lot at once, but... You know how the one you gave me turned into a shard once I drained its energy? Those shards are called Mystic Quartz. Glad to know for me? I'll give you any mystique you like in return. I'll also give you Mystic Quartz for every mystique you give me. Ah, oh, sweet. Nice to meet you. I'm right here, so be sure to come visit me once you get a good amount of mystique or Mystic Quartz. Uh, let's see. At the Mystique Exchange, you can exchange any mystiques you didn't want for Mystic Quartz. Mr. Quartz can then be, uh, can be spent in turn to buy other Mystiques. You can see how much Mr. Quartz you have on hand in the command menu. If you're carrying any Mystiques you don't want, you can always exchange them for Mr. Quartz in order to attain more powerful or desirable Mystiques. <laughs> oh, so yeah, I could just trade, uh, either just exchange them or just... <laughs> Got a new one, Archangel the Divine. That noble appearance of his suits me pretty well, don't you think? He's got no shortage of strong attacks, but he's also capable of healing magic like Diorama. Frankly, there's nothing he can't do. Yagarazi's got another thing coming. I'm gonna slaughter those dirtbags. Uh-huh, sure, thanks. Hey. Say, you got any demons with Mitama in her name, like Arabitama or Sakibitama? You can use those demons in something special called Mitama Fusion. Only seasoned summoners can get a hold of them, though. No idea where you can find them, but if you're lucky enough to get one, you should try using them in fusion. Right, the Bitama demons. Now I just need to figure out how to fuse them. A great power may grace our stage. <laughs> this demon fusion device is a product of my research. The more you use it, the more vital data I will obtain. Which strikes your fancy? Now, make your choice. Until next time. Alright, well, uh, all it's left to do is just pop by Axis and uh, begin our expedition into the Soul Matrix. I unentrust everything to your decision. Saving this world from ultimate destruction is a duty that you alone must accomplish.
What do you desire, Ringo? New function unlocked. All right, let's see. Hmm. When you strike your weakness to electricity, one demon joins the stack, or when using skills of battle, there's a chance you want to spend MP. Hey. Have you gotten used to this ion enable fighting style? Right. Yeah, more or less. It's definitely efficient, but a part of me is a little antsy about it. The summoner history goes back a long way. It's like tossing out everything our forefathers built up, and that's not a great feeling. Ah, whatever. Hmm. Ah, the way of tradition, I guess. I know what you mean, but don't you think it's just as important to embrace new possibilities? Well, I'm not just talking about the technique. There's an emotional aspect to it, too. I mean, yeah, I mean, hey, they're your demons. You kind of want to go and fight alongside them, so... What do you desire, Ringo? New function unlocked. Let's see, for a given distance, enemies three levels below Ringo won't appear. All right, let's go for electricity stack. And that reminds me. So, Ringo, you, you do you actually run electricity since you're, you know, a robot? Ah, oh, totally. With a tall glass of oil and a hot full of... Uh, hot. Oh, totally. With a, a tall glass of oil and a hot bowl full of batteries... I'm not a robot, you blockhead! How many times do I have to say it? Sorry. Uh, sorry, I'll try and watch what I say. People do tell me I could be insensitive. Uh, yeah. Uh, too late, I'm suing you for robotic harassment. But, uh, now that I really think about it, I don't really know what my body's made of. Is that so? Wait, you don't? What do you desire, Ringo? Uh, as far as I can tell, you're basically a hard, uh, I don't know, maybe like a hard-like construct or something like that? I don't know. Let's see, Arrow Sector Cleanup 2. Anomaly detected. Okay, confirmed instability in soul, uh, soul Hack Subject Arrow's Soul Matrix second floor. This is likely due to Inugami that have been roaming the area. An Ion Directive has been issued to resolve this matter. Alright, uh, take care of nine Inugamis. Retrieve the Chain crystal, uh, crystal Crystalloid Beta. Anomaly detected. All right, let's see. Uh, fusion of Yoshitsune. Anomaly detected. Anomaly detected. Anomaly detected. Oh. Oh, fusion of Ara Mitama. Oh, so we, here's how we get a lot to Mitama fusions. Sweet. Anomaly detected. Presence of an unknown enemy in Soul Sack uh, Hack Subject Melody Soul Matrix. The target is polluting the sur You'll not be allowed to continue should you lose, and neither Arrow nor Saizo will be allowed to participate. Oh, so we have to fight against her memory of RS. Great. Anomaly detected. Are they orb crystal light beta? Anomaly detected. Anomaly detected. And Boshawu. What do you desire, Ringo? In the name of evolution. All right, so yeah, for what I'm, from what I can tell here, we can at least uh, go and take care of uh, take care of Arrow's part of the soul uh, soul matrix first, and then we'll uh, see how far we can get to the orphanage or the next dungeon or whatever, and then we'll come back and deal with ability and sizos. All right, so yeah, these demons that are, uh, that are uh, popping up inside the ion directives. Uh, let's see, Mokoi, Nozochi, and RS. It looks like they're either demons or people that uh, that are personally uh, per, uh, that are uh, that are personal to uh, personal to the people in the matrices in question. All right, so yeah, now we'll be going against an even stronger version of RS. Great. The Wolf Who Cried Wolf. Let's see. All 
All right. Well, uh, next time we're gonna be uh, beginning our expedition into Saizo, uh, uh, our expedition to Arrow, uh, uh, to new part of Arrow Soul Matrix. Yo. Let's see here. Ringo. Seems like you reach for support. Yep. Hmm. Uh. Second floor. Yeah, there's at least one gate there waiting to be opened. You haven't gone past the second floor yet? Uh, you haven't gone past the second floor yet, right? Our soul level is high enough to handle it, but the demons only get tougher. Stay on guard out there. See ya. Ah. Rengo. Hmm. Hmm. Well, bye. Yo. Let me see. Later. All right, yeah. So, yeah, looks like Arrows is the easier one of the two. And then, yeah, once we hit a roadblock in the uh, in the main dungeon, then we come back to Melody and Sizos. Got it. And yeah, just one more thing here. I just want to say, yeah, no, I might have said this before, but uh, yeah, the music in here definitely kind of reminds me of the uh, Zero. Uh, let's see, uh, I mean, you remember the uh, Sigma stage in Mega Man X Five? Yeah, you know, where, uh, yeah, or yeah, the Zero stages. Yeah, it just kind of reminds me of the music of the first one. You know, it's just got that whole kind of ambiance to it. Let's see, got bugs, nozochi. And yeah, Loa should be uh Loa should be in uh, one of the next parts. Just kind of too bad that I don't have enough space for them, so. All right, well, yeah, should uh, should get better once Ringo levels up a little bit, and then we can start fusing, or really fusing. All right, well, anyway, that's enough of that. Time to save the call today. Yeah, next time we're gonna be going back inside, uh, inside, uh, uh, go spelunking into Arrow Soul Matrix. All right, so until next time, folks. This is David on David's brain. Stay inside, stay safe, wear a mask, get vaccinated. Bye bye.